Hello students, today we will discuss about uh, division without dispersion. Okay. Let me tell you at the very outset that this is a very important concept uh, that uh, <coughs> how can uh, we have a uh, ray of light that passes through uh, whenever it uh, ray of light passes through a prism it has to be dispersed okay and uh, there will be dispersion as well as there will be deviation there is no doubt about it but now uh, what we can do how we can have a situation where uh, one thing will happen the other thing will not happen means uh, for a single person both will happen dispersion and deviation then the deviation of the light but for uh, certain arrangements will have uh, only one either dispersion or deviations both will not happen simultaneously the today's topic is uh, deviation without dispersion so what is there deviation is occurring there is a deviation but there is no dispersion no dispersion means the uh, light finally that comes out is a white light it is not in the form of uh, white light okay so without this person means a white light comes out as white light so there is no this person this is what we want to want to achieve but uh, this is not possible when uh, we have a single prism because a single prism will only disperse the light finally it comes out with the form of rainbow now deviation is uh, there so what we'll do we will consider a situation this type of uh, combination is called achromatic combination of prism this is called a uh, achromatic combination of prism and we will consider a diagram we will <coughs> see this is also called uh, this type of arrangement is called uh, uh, what type of arrangement that we'll discuss now this is called a uh, achromatic combination of prism uh, the spelling is uh, Now, so as you can see here, there are uh, two prisms we are going to use because uh, one cannot do such thing, so two will use and uh, we'll uh, keep inverted one uh, like this, okay, one will keep like this, the other one we will keep inverted like that. So I should have used another color no problem this is another prism so this is one prism and this is another prism this prism is kept inverted now this uh, combination is called achromatic combination if uh, we can achieve this uh, situation there is a deviation of the color but there is no dispersion so here we will consider a few things that this is the angle of the prism and uh, we'll also keep in mind that uh, we're deriving things, we're deriving all these things for uh, thin prism. Okay, these two may not be exactly identical. If they're exactly identical, it will be like a glass lab. So the deviation uh, will not occur because uh, that will kind of counterbalance, and then uh, nothing will happen because uh, the this a. Let me explain to you that afterwards. A is the angular prism. And here, for this uh, prism, the angle of prism is LS or A prime. Now, this uh, is made up of different material, and this is also made up of different material. We have uh, two different material prism. This is supposed to be made up of crown. This is made up of crown glass, and this is made up of flint glass. Flint glass. So these glasses are uh, different. So therefore, the degree to which uh, the dispersive power also will be different that uh, we are discussing just right now so their dispersive power will be different so everything will be different so what will be the difference that we'll write one by one here then we'll proceed for the for the derivation or the condition of uh, uh, this to achieve first of all that uh, a is the angle of prism for crown glass Okay, and corresponding 
delta y is the this is a deviation angle angle of deviation for yellow color These are things, and uh, of course, omega is the which is okay. Now, what about this? So, this is omega, and this will be omega prime. Say everything will uh, write a prime for this. So, it is we have the deviation angles for different colors, corresponding colors. Now, and obviously, this was a power. Okay. Now, <coughs> we will uh, put those two conditions one by one. First of all, we want. Uh, there is a deviation, but there is no dispersion. So there is no dispersion. If there is no dispersion, then the net dispersion will be zero. If there is uh, no dispersion, means what that uh, the <coughs> angular dispersion produced by one is cancelled by the angular dispersion produced by the other prism okay the first prism whatever dispersion it produces the first prism whatever dispersion it produces suppose it produces this much of angular dispersion that is counterbalanced or cancelled this produce in this in this sense clockwise sense this would also should produce in anti-clockwise sense this is uh, the prism due to ground glass and another prism here that I will draw here basically it is the same thing that I am drawing again this is inverted so whatever uh, dispersion is produced, angular dispersion, that has to be counterbalanced by this. If that happens, then there is no angular dispersion, net dispersion. So these two things will be cancelled out. Now the This is the angular dispersion produced by first prism. This one, this I call delta delta one, and this I call delta two. So basically, what we are doing is delta one must be equal to delta two, or delta one minus delta two must be zero. That is the uh, net of uh, angular dispersion should be zero. Okay. Then only there is no dispersion. So dispersion produced by first prism is this. Okay. So. <coughs> And uh, that also you can write as this as a uh, a into a minus a okay. Similarly, the dispersion produced by the second prism
is delta beta minus delta plus, which is further equal to a del into <coughs> mu b minus mu l s. Okay. Now, now for no dispersion for no dispersion the delta 1 and delta 2 must be equal i call this as delta 2 i call the delta 1 so therefore that should be equal for no dispersion the net value that is uh, net dispersion should be zero that means this is dispersion produced by first prism that is delta one must be equal to dispersion produced by the second one delta two they must counterbalance each other that means if i bend uh, this uh, ray by this some 30 degree then it the dispersion is 30 degree angle of deviation is 30 degree so if uh, i will again by some arrangement rotate this by uh, minus 30 degree then it will come to its original direction so basically the first prism uh, produces clockwise deviation and the second prism produces anti-clockwise deviation so therefore uh, by equal degree then only there will be no dispersion of the uh, colors so if i write so then i have to equate those two values that implies delta 1 must be equal to delta 2 uh, you have to remember that I call this as a minus delta 2 and the other one I call delta 1. If both are equal, then I will write delta V minus delta R. This I will write like this. And uh, in terms of uh, refractive index and uh, angle of prism, this is A into So uh, this is the, uh, we can uh, further simplify this to get uh, uh, some values like, uh, I'll just proceed further to, so this is the condition. This gives the condition of uh, the no dispersion, okay, this is gives you the condition of no dispersion. For no dispersion, this should be there, it's obvious, but then we should proceed further to solve it. Then what I'll do, I'll uh, rewrite this equation and uh, multiply and divide something because I want to write this uh, expression in terms of uh, uh, any dispersive power omega and uh, uh, delta y that is a uh, deviation of mean color so in terms of that I want to arrange it so this is possible if I divide this by uh, to, to bring uh, omega into picture we have to divide this by mu y minus 1 because uh, omega is mu v uh, minus mu 1 mu r divided by mu y minus 1 so the y minus 1 is not there so i'll multiply and divide numerator and denominator here also i'll do the same thing here it will be mu y dash minus that and that will introduce me to omega so i'll do that now i have a situation like this a Now I will divide by mu y minus 1, I will multiply by mu y minus 1, I divide here by, okay, this means the same thing because uh, again this two will cancel out and then gives you the original equation. This is your omega, okay, this part is your omega, this part, this part is omega similarly this part is omega dash so i will write this as a, and what is this part a into mu y minus 1 is delta y so this is delta y omega here it is delta y dash and omega dash so 
I will have omega over omega dash is uh, delta y dash over delta y. So this is the condition for no dispersion. This is the If you don't want this person, then uh, this condition should be satisfied that omega over omega prime should be equal to delta y prime over delta y. Okay, this is the first thing. Now we will uh, proceed to see uh, what is the net uh, deviation. So there is a deviation, but then we will see uh, how the deviation is produced. Uh, then uh, we'll use the diagram also. We'll draw the diagram and see as well. <clears throat> or oh, let me first draw the diagram to you and explain. Then we will discuss about the condition of uh, deviation. So we discussed about the condition of uh, uh, dispersion, no dispersion. Now discuss about the condition of deviation. So let us have the prism like so, and uh, this is another prism get inverted, so this should be working like that. Not it. Now, I have this is uh, my A and this is my A dash as usual. Okay, and everything remains the same. That this is the crown glass. This is the frame to glass. The light will uh, go something like that. This will strike like this. It was supposed to go like this, but unfortunately it will move like that move like this and move like that so if i put this uh, ray over here this is a uh, emergent white light this is white light this is also white Now, this was uh, ultimately the net uh, deviation. This is the delta net. The deviation, uh, which the color, because this color is deviated, this is a violet red color. This is the violet color. So, similarly, this is the red color and this is the violet color. Okay. So now, now if uh, different colors are uh, inside here are uh, deviated differently, so finally deviation is required, then deviation of uh, which color? If you think that it is a deviation of the final uh, white light with respect to initial white light then also uh, we have to go to, to solve numericals we have to consider it is a uh, deviation of mean color okay so this is basically delta y is a deviation net deviation mean color Net deviation of mean color is uh, the uh, yellow color <coughs> for white light. So, this uh, yellow color will be somewhere here and somewhere here. This is uh, the angle with which uh, bends the light. Yellow color is uh, for the delta y here, and uh, in this case, this is delta. Y dash here. So there is a net of delta y left which is here. So the net deviation net deviation of yellow color is net dash. Now 
substituting the value of delta which is uh, a into mu y minus 1 minus like this I will take this common now again I want to introduce the uh, omega I will introduce omega okay so if I introduce omega I have to think of uh, uh, mu v minus mu r divided by mu y minus 1 so I will take this as common if I take this as common a minus 1 then this will become 1 minus okay what I've done is I take common this factor taking common from both the terms so this will here if I take in if this is taken out this is one and there is no such factor like this here so I have to multiply this here and divide this here that multiplication part is the common and the division is left okay now <clears throat> now I will uh, introduce uh, this uh, already we have done this already we have discussed in uh, the first part that uh, this is a condition of uh, mm, no dispersion that uh, these two should be uh, and we uh, that equation I'll rewrite for you but uh, okay let me write uh, a dash by a over here I'll replace this a dash by a uh, in this equation and see what happens because uh, uh, earlier we derived one equation that uh, I don't want to show that phase over here I just uh, do it for you that equation was uh, that uh, when I say delta y equals to uh, a into delta y minus uh, delta v minus delta y sorry uh, so this is uh, a into uh, mu v minus mu r equals to a dash into mu v dash minus mu r. This is uh, when we said that uh, the delta <coughs> delta v minus delta r barabar delta v dash minus delta r dash. This is the condition that we imposed for the uh, ray not to be uh, dispersed. Okay. So from here I introduced uh, because I know that this, uh, if I solve it, then I'll get uh, a into mu v minus mu r. If I solve this, I'll get a dash mu, mu v dash minus mu r dash. So from here, I'll uh, rearrange this a by a dash or whatever is there. So this a dash by a will become mu v minus mu r divided by mu v dash minus mu r dash. This I will put in the equation that I have just derived. In this equation, a dash by a this vector this vector is nothing but this I just write here okay this a dash by a is this I have to substitute this value over here and rewrite so I'm just rewriting the that directly and that equation will be so delta net that is a net deviation of mean color or yellow color is a into mu y minus 1 that I have taken common bracket 1 minus a dash by a which is this so therefore therefore this equals to and this is obviously a into me y minus 1 is delta y okay and uh, 1 minus this factor mu v minus mu r divided by mu y minus 1 is zero omega and this factor comes down here below this so it becomes omega dash so this is a very simple equation now good looking equation earlier it was so complicated now this good looking equation uh, 
delta nat is delta y into 1 minus omega upon omega dash. So this is the expression for net uh, deviation of the mean color that is produced. So the condition for uh, no dispersion is, uh, just I will recap once again, condition for uh, that is uh, omega upon omega dash is delta y dash upon delta y. That means uh, omega is inversely proportional to delta y. This, uh, this ratio should be constant, that means this relation is uh, constant that omega is inversely proportional to delta y. Okay, 